van life doesn't suck, but van life YouTube massively sucks. It's full of clickbait, boring videos, and bad editing. And that is just one of the reasons why we have quit as van life YouTubers. We have been full time living in a van and recording our journey on YouTube. But five months ago, we stopped posting to save our family. This might sound really dramatic, but I'm going to show you exactly how bad the clickbait culture is within van life and why massive van life creators are using this toxic trait to get more views and grow their channels. But if we're not posting van life videos anymore, is this the end of YouTube for us? By the way, my name is Jenna and I have been traveling full time with my family for the last three years. And in that time, we have built a community of thousands of other families that want to travel more, spend more time with their children, work remotely and live a life that they have chosen. So have we actually quit YouTube or was that just clickbait as well? So we started our YouTube channel about a year after we were full time van lifers. And I wanted it as a diary for the children to look back on and see what they did when they were really young. But also we built this community of other families and I loved inspiring other people to take the leap, go full-time van life, full-time travel, anything that kind of made them live a life that they really wanted to live. But it was too much for us as a couple. We were converting the van, we were living in the van, we were raising two small children and it became too much. So five months ago, we decided not to film anymore. And we've had comments and the comments have been amazing asking us where we are. But in truth, we're still traveling, we're just not recording it. There was a day when Luna asked us to go out and not film. We weren't parenting in the way that we needed to and that we wanted to. So something had to go and the thing that was going to go was YouTube. So if you are here for 100% van life content, then I'm afraid we quit. Obviously, our family's needs are one of the big reasons why we stopped posting YouTube. But the other reason was the toxic clickbait culture that seems to be so apparent within the van life YouTube world. Some massive creators are using clickbait titles to boost their videos, to grow their channels. And this was something that we didn't want to be part of. Were we part of it? Yes, we use clickbait titles. There's not gonna be a lot of other creators that will admit to this. Our views were slowly growing and our community was slowly getting bigger, but there was a noticeable difference between videos that we put out that had a clickbait title and videos that had a nice happy title. Those ones had significantly less views than the dramatic titles. There was a massive paradox when it comes to clickbait titles. Everybody claims to hate them and yet they are everywhere and they work. So why is this? To start with, you need to understand the definition of clickbait. There are two types of clickbait in my opinion. The first one, as described by the dictionary, is to attract somebody to click on your link. If you're producing anything online, then you need to attract people to click on your link. But the second definition of clickbait is probably what more people define as clickbait. And that is where you are misinforming someone, you are withholding information, or you are increasing the curiosity gap to a point where it's unethical. This is probably how most people would define clickbait. So to sum it all up, why is clickbait everywhere? And it's because it works. It's because that's what us, as humans, are attracted to. So if we don't want to be part of this clickbait culture, then are we quitting YouTube? What I love watching is travel and educational content. And that is what we are going to be creating in the future. It means that I can still create videos, which I love doing, but it doesn't put the same pressure on our family. And it means that we can actually enjoy our travels and be more present for our kids. So if you are here 100% for the van life content, then Bye bye. But from now on, we are going to be sharing travel hacks for families, how to work remotely in families, best gadgets, best locations, everything to help families embark on long term travel. Then this is the channel for you. But if you want to see some of our worst or best, depending how you view clickbait titles from the past, then check out these videos here.